गुड मॉर्निंग स्टूडेंट्स सो टुडे वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न पार्ट नंबर फाइव ऑफ चैप्टर एट मोशन ओके इन द नाइन्थ स्टैंडर्ड सो वी अर्लियर वी हैव डिवाइड द टू फॉर्मूलाज द फर्स्ट इक्वेशन ऑफ द मोशन एंड द सेकंड इक्वेशन ऑफ द मोशन नाउ मूव टूवर्ड्स द थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ द मोशन सो हाउ द थर्ड इक्वेशन ऑफ द मोशन कैन बी डिस्क्राइब सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल यू हैव टू लर्न अबाउट द एरिया ऑफ ट्रैपेजियम ओके फर्स्ट लेट हम बेसिक थिंग द एरिया ऑफ trapezium okay how the trapezium is formed see the trapezium having one smaller length one higher length and a distance between them clear so the area of trapezium can be calculated by the summation of the least length highest length and the distance between them so it is given by length plus high length smaller length higher length into multiply by h and divide by 2 so this is the formula for area of the trapezium fine now see how to calculate the third equation so the phenomena to calculate the third equation is given here over here see in the third equation again we are dealing with the total displacement okay so as we already know that the total displacement under this graph is given by the area under vt diagram so the area under vt diagram will gives us the total displacement total displacement fine so now calculate the area so see the area will contain the smaller length the bigger length and the distance between them clear and so here the total distance is given by area of trapezium oabc that is o a b and c understood the o a b and c so this is the trapezium now see this is the smaller length this one will be the bigger length okay and this is the distance between them clear so now that is oa plus ob multiply by oc the oc is this okay this is o this is a okay this is b and this is oc clear so now see divide by 2 so what is oa so see in figure the oa is represented by u and what is ob is represented by v and the distance between them is represented by T. So here we are get s equal to u plus v multiplied by t divided by two. Understood? So move towards the next page. So we are getting equation like this. The s equal to the s equal to u plus v multiplied by t divided by two. Now see, as we know that the acceleration formula is given by Given by v minus u upon t, so make t as a subject. So t is equal to v minus u upon a. So put this t value over here. Okay. So after putting this value, we are getting this. So as you already know the know the the formula, the a plus b and a minus b are in multiply. So the answer will be a square minus b square. So here, this is a plus b and this is a minus b. Okay. So 2a will be multiplied in the numerator, okay? But the first equation and second equation having the format like u plus v and u minus v. So we are getting the u square, v square minus u square. Clear? So here we get v square minus u square upon 2a. Now modify this equation, keep 2a over here. So whenever I am keep 2a over here, so we are getting 2a as equal to v square minus u square okay and keep u over here so you are getting 2a s plus u square equal to v square so we are getting this equation similar to this equation understood so this is the third equation of motion third equation of motion understood so for so the chapter is done now in the, in this in this chapter you are getting some numericals regarding to the equation of motion 1 equation of motion 2 and the equation of motion 3 so let us let we had write all the equation so the first equation is given by v equal to u plus at okay and the second equation is what s equal to ut plus half of at square and the third equation that is v that is itself this equation okay so this is the third equation now let's have some solve numericals a car is starting from rest means the car is starting from a rest 
so initially the car is at rest so the initial velocity of the car is u equal to 0 and with the uniform acceleration of this so acceleration is given 0 0.1 okay and 4 minutes and time is given find the speed and distance travel in this case you have to find v and you have to find s also so from this 1 2 and 3 equation you have to suit a particular formula which can fit in all these situations okay so in the first u equal to 0 acceleration is given time is in minutes now so convert it into the second so fine we have to calculate v so which formula will suitable in which u a and t is given the first formula that is v equal to u plus a t so you have we have a value we have acceleration we have t so put all this value over here so you are getting v is equal to 24 meter per second clear you will get a 24 meter per second answer clear now the second numerical in the second numerical see in this in this numericals you have to wisely choose your formulas okay either you have to apply first formula second formula and third formula clear now the brakes are applied to the car so whenever we are applying the brakes to the car so the car is running with the initial velocity u but the final velocity after applying the brake you become zero so in this case v become zero clear now deacceleration means whenever we are applying brake so acceleration become negative so acceleration is called deacceleration opposite direction motion required two second time is given two second okay acceleration is minus six meter per second square to stop application of the brake calculate the distance travel in this case you have to find s fine so see first of all which data has been given u is not given v is zero because brakes are applied acceleration is given time is given so choose a particular formula wisely so here v must be zero final velocity must be zero so v equal to u plus 80 in this case v is zero so you have to make u as a subject u is equal to minus 80 so cal after calculating you are getting minus 12 meter per second square now the second case calculate the distance also so distance we have two formulas for the distance s equal to ut plus half of at square or this formula clear in this case distances are given so let's move towards the this formula second formula so s is equal to ut u is given because u is 12 t is also given t is 2 second okay and half and a is given minus 6 and t is squared again 2 second is given all the data are present so after calculating we are getting the 12 meter means after reaching to the 12 meter the car will stop its motion understood after moving to the 12 meters up to 12 meter the car will stop down clear now the last topic is this this chapter the uniform circular motion uniform circular motion suppose a car suppose for example we will uh, so understand this by an example see suppose an object this is a circle okay an object here from here it moving with the uniform x uniform motion like here from this point to this point clear so whenever an object is moving with a very uniform speed in a circular path in a circular path so the uniform motion is called uniform circular motion okay so object is changing its position and i already told you whenever an object is changing its position from one place to another place we can say that the object is in motion so this the motion of this particular object is called circular motion the object of this motion is called circular motion understood so this is the particular phenomena for the circular motion so this is the last topic the circular motion in the circular motion what happened whenever an object is moving at a, any speed whenever an object is moving at any speed the tangent drawn that point will shows the velocity of that object in that particular point okay suppose the object is here so the tangent will show the velocity of an object at that point suppose the object is over here the tangent will show the direction of motion of an object in this direction okay so all the object whenever the object is moving in a circular path the object having tendency to tendency to move out means by the action of centrifugal force which is act outward to the circle okay 
so that is called centrifugal force so they are moving under the action of centrifugal force fine so see if if a body moving in a circular path with a uniform speed this motion is called uniform circular motion so the topic is uniform circular motion suppose an object is moving in a circular path okay with the uniform velocity so the object must be in uniform circular motion okay so we can conclude that the object is moving with the uniform circular motion speed fine so in this chapter okay all the parts in, in this chapter in all the parts we have learned about the various things like what is uniform speed what is non uniform speed what is accelerated motion non accelerated motion uniformly deaccelerated motion non uniformly and the three formulas first formula second formula and third formula clear so as per the requirement you will choose first second or third formula two conditions are given suppose a car is moving from the rest so in the rest so rest initial velocity is zero suppose a car is applying brake so after the after movement the car is stopped down so due to the velocity of final velocity is zero understood so this is our chapter 8 motion is completed understood